Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another quick tip video. Um, so what I'm going to be trying to show you guys is a quick way to composite a live action character or a still image from Cinema 4D or any other uh, 3D uh, program um, into After Effects for compositing. So um, we're going to be using green screen for this. So um, obviously this is this is an animated character. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is to show you a still version of that but the techniques work um, in the same way. So um, there's no green screen, so there's, if I was to sort of render this, this, this bit out, let me just close that, let me just render this out. Um, as you can see, it's got a gray background, which we can't composite with, composite with. we need a green screen. So uh, create a new material, um, and then I'm just gonna change the color to a green. And let's go to a really powerful green like that. Uh, click OK. Um, we've got the background here. Um, if you don't know how to do this, I'll delete that and come up to this grid here. Uh, create a background, and then drop your color um, on top of your background layer. So now, when we render, um, we've got green screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to render this out as a JPEG image. Um, so let's go to save set to JPEG, it's going to save to my desktop which is fine, I'm um, just going to use the current frame as it is, if you obviously want to render the whole scene go to all frames, um, but it's going to render that current scene as it is. So I'm going to come up to render, um, add to render queue, I'm just going to save that the way it is, and basically start rendering. So we're going to start rendering that piece of um, graphic so I'm gonna come out of here uh, switch off cinema 4d because I don't really need that no more I've got two here because I did one earlier um, and as we open this up um, as you can see we've got a green screen image to uh, key light um, in After Effects so I'm just going to um, open up After Effects I'm just going to import um, some basic footage stock footage let's just get this one of the desert for now uh, I'm gonna throw that into a new comp uh, as you can see, got a new comp and just ram preview that. Uh, make sure it's all smooth, like so. And like I say, guys, you can do this uh, sort of thing in uh, live action as well. So it's entirely up to you. Um, you can have your actual character sort of moving. But I'm not going to sort of use the whole piece of this footage. So I'm just going to sort of come forward to where I like. Um, let's say we can use this piece of footage here so let's just go say to there i'm going to track this point here i'm going to trim it down uh trim to comp work uh to comp to work area as you can see um and then i'm going to go to animation i'm going to track the motion rather than track the entire entire scene um and i'm just sort of going to pull this over and i'm going to track this bit here because that looks good to me um it's got a nice orange sort of look to it. Come back down here, I'm going to create a new uh, null object, just like that. I'm going to go to Edit Target, make sure my null one is selected, press OK. Then I'm going to analyze that forward very, very quickly. So it's always sort of on the scene. Um, I try and sort of keep my tracks in the scene the best I can. Um, so we've got the complete track on that rock. So I'm going to go to Apply. X, Y, click OK. So now that's um, the tracking done. Okay. So now I'm just going to close all this and then I'm going to go to File and I'm going to import uh, my character, uh, my green screen, which I just made. Um, and you can, I, I will do a different videos guy, video guy on um, the uh, animation side. So if you want a sort of moving character as well. Um, I'll do that for you guys to show you how to sort of animate that in a or composite that to a scene. So I'm just going to scale this down to size. Um, with my dragon selected, I'm going to come up to effects, keying, come down to key like 1, 1 1.2, get my dabber and just green screen that out. Um, and he don't look too bad. Now, what I want to do is get my dragon and I sort of want to sort of put him into sort of position, say to about there. 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent my um, I'm going to make that 3D layer sorry I'm going to parent my um, dragon to my null object like so and hopefully um, my dragon now is sort of uh, connected uh, to my rock so let's um, just play that forward and he don't look too bad so you can sort of imagine um, if he's moving um, you can sort of use the same technique um, as well um, but it's entirely up to you say for instance I was going to animate them just 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 make out this was animated yeah right and I sort of brought him here and he was sort of flapping his wings I could sort of bring him here for instance um, I could click on my thing hit P on the keyboard to create a position from that point um, I can sort of select the keyframe sort of moving over um, and I could sort of move them up just slightly if I wanted to so just 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 pretend in theory that you know he was flapping his wings you know and he was animated getting ready you can actually animate that sort of sequence um, because he will turn this character actually turns around and then flies off so you would have to sort of animate the, the movement of the character um, in the scene even though he's already animated so animate him to the direction um, you know you want him to go if that makes sense so I'm just gonna get rid of them keyframes and I'm just gonna bring him back to where he's meant to be um, and basically guys that that's basically how you do it and then from there you know I would go to effects and just grade him you know so color correction uh, go to curves and I would grade the dragon you know to the actual composition sort of match him up um, so he'd look good so on and so on so guys um, I hope this has helped you know give you a rough idea on uh, of a nice little technique that you can sort of implement your live um, action or your still action to a scene um, and there is a way to put a shadow to him as well we can actually do that but I'll do that on the moving version of this tutorial this technique will work in you know 3ds max Maya so on and so on all you're doing is basically adding or compositing a character to your scene using green screen the same as if you was to shoot a live action movie using a green screen plate so as always guys thanks for listening um, and I shall see you in the next tutorial. So thanks for listening guys. Take care. Ciao, ciao